So, my little camper has been sitting here patiently waiting for me to take her out for a camping trip for the very first time. I brought this little teardrop home a couple of months ago now, January, and I'm in Northern California and we've been getting an inordinate amount of rain. So, um, I just haven't been able to take her out yet on a camping trip. So I put this tarp on it and um, it's holding up pretty well. I'm proud of myself. I've never done anything like this before, but um, got it anchored down and uh, at least it's help, you know, helps for, uh, for not getting water in because we're just getting so much rain. Um, unfortunately, the kitchen galley has been leaking water. Somehow water is getting in told the manufacturer about it and uh, he sent somebody out to try and repair it but they were unable to diagnose the issue and repair it even though they tried. So the manufacturer has kindly offered to actually exchange this teardrop for another new one uh, sometime in May. So um, I can't really take this one out maybe once but that's probably about it before I do the exchange so it's kind of a bummer that I have to wait. Uh, to really take her out and test her out and um, see what it's actually like. But I'm glad to be getting a new camper because I'm really worried about the, you know, water damage that may have already been done. So that was really nice of the manufacturer to offer that solution. And uh, so hence the tarp up here to try and protect it as best I can. I'm storing it here at a um, place pretty close to my home. Um, it's costing me $99 a month, which is steep, but it is convenient for me. On the long term, I probably wouldn't keep it here. I have another possibility of a place that would be only $35 a month, much more reasonable. I live in an apartment, so I really don't have a garage to store it in, so this is my only option. And um, I feel like this place is pretty secure. It's in a great area. So, I uh, have been purchasing some camping items and um, I have to probably refrain a little bit from it because it's so fun to purchase camping stuff because it makes you feel like you're manifesting your dream and uh, making things happen. But I, I need to be careful because I'm loading up my teardrop here <laughs> with all this camping stuff I'm purchasing which is fine, but, um, you know, I have to be wary of the weight that I'm putting in here because my car will only tow 1,500 pounds, and this teardrop is around 1,100, so um, I need to be mindful about that. So I'll just share with you a couple of new little purchases. I got this little shower bag on Amazon, and it's got little pockets for your shampoos and whatnot and the towel can go inside so I'm pretty sure that will come in handy if I'm at a campground and I want to just hang it up and have it. Um, I got some hand warmers which I think will come in handy. I charge them up and I put them in my pockets and I was amazed how just having two little hand warmers in your pocket could warm up your entire body. But I could see having them in a jacket coat pocket and also being really nice to warm up your hands. So I think that is a good purchase. Um, I got this little uh, cloth, you know, washcloth or um, clean the counter what not. And I thought that was really cute. And I got the Lucy string solar lights. And I'm thinking these will be nice out on the camping table, a uh, picnic table to sort of light things up, um, make it look pretty and also be functional in terms of just giving you more light. And I think I've bought every coffee maker there is and I keep testing out what I think is best for me. And this is one of my favorite ways to make coffee. I used to have an Italian boyfriend way, many, many years ago and he introduced this kind of Italian way of making uh, coffee, mocha pot, they call it, and uh, it makes a nice, good, strong cup of coffee, so uh, that's one of my favorite ways, but I have a feeling I'll be doing coffee other ways as well. So, 
I was thinking of, um, there's my solar panel, and beneath that is, I already purchased that a while ago, the EB3A power station. And um, then I have, of course, a 500 watt battery in the front storage box here. And uh, I have another little portable battery that is around, I think, 200. In any case, I was thinking that I might put this toilet, which is the clean waste toilet, um, inside the camper here. And um, But I'd have to cut down the bed in order for that to fit. And um, it's, you know, it's a rather thick six inch mattress. So I think that's going to be a little hard to cut through. I don't know. Um, I probably need a good electric knife to do it um, but I'm thinking I would cut this down from a queen size to a more like a full size bed and then I'd have room for the toilet because there is plenty of room there's a lot it's a pretty high ceiling so there's a pretty um, good amount of room for me um, I mean it would just be used of course in emergencies but I like the idea of having it inside so in the middle of the night you know I have it right there the other thing I bought was this, I'm not so sure if this is going to be useful or not. This is probably an example of where maybe I should have jumped, I kind of jumped the gun and bought something maybe too early. But um, I was thinking when I'm traveling on the road and I need an emergency, uh, you know, a bathroom or something that I, this could come in handy. So it's um, called Instaprivy. And uh, it's even in a backpack, so I suppose you could take it with you on hiking. Um, but you throw this uh, tent over you for privacy, and then you sit on that, which is right there. So you've got an instant toilet um, with privacy. So I could see sort of maybe pulling over the road, opening my two side doors, and putting this in between and having a good amount of privacy. So hopefully that will come in handy. It'll be worth the money I spent on that. Um, but yeah, I probably need to refrain a little bit from all the purchasing <laughs> I'm doing. Um, I guess part of me is also thinking, well, I don't know how easy it will be to get Amazon on the road. So maybe you should get what you think you need for sure now when it's easier to just have things delivered to your home. I'm already kind of loading up the back here. I've got this clam uh, shell tent. It's taking up a good amount of <laughs> space in my Honda CRV here. And again, I'm, I'm not so sure if this is a good purchase or not. Um, I've only tried to put it up once so far and it was actually a bit of a struggle to get it up. I couldn't get any traction to pull the panels out, so I was struggling with that. I did get some dirt bags to hopefully anchor it down better and try with those. Um, but I'm a little concerned because it's taking up a lot of room in my Honda here. But I thought this would be really nice on the days where it's not that windy and I want a little living room area um, to be in and... and uh, working because I will be working on the road. So um, I I grabbed it because it was on a really good sale and I just didn't want to pass it up. So took it while I could. So slowly coming together. Um, so I won't be able to exchange this until May. Um, I'm hoping to maybe take it out on at least one camping trip um before then and really try it out so the status hello <laughs> um right now and every time i come over here to see it i'm like so excited to like get out and try it out because i've had it now for over two months and i haven't had a chance to really to really test it out yet i have a lot of things i need to test out you know like mainly to see if this is something I could do full-time uh, or at least long-term for a while um, 
and the reason I went with uh, a new unit is I wanted to have less um, potential things go wrong. I um, about in 2018 I bought this old van, kind of an impulse buy, and because um, it was such a good price. You know, the guy was practically giving it away. So I took it and then unfortunately it like broke down really quickly. And then I had to take it to a mechanic and they said, yeah, it's going to be a big repair. And so it was such a hassle dealing with that. And I thought, no, I'm just going to sell this thing. And, uh, you know, I took a loss on that. But it sort of showed me that I thought, well, I need to have something that's new because I don't want to deal with all of the things that can break down. Um, it's kind of ironic that there's already a leak happening and I'm having to deal with it anyways. Of course, people have said on YouTube um, and told me that, you know, new doesn't guarantee that things are not going to break down. But... You know, I have some anecdotal dotal evidence because my sister brought, bought a um, used Class A and practically from the get-go they were having one issue after another and thousands and thousands of dollars of repairs they had to do. Whereas my cousin bought a brand new RV and they didn't have any issues for, you know, eight straight years. So I'm just thinking it's a matter of when you buy something new, less things can go wrong with it. Um, you know, when something's older, things start breaking down, just like our bodies do. So that's why I wanted something new, because I could have bought, for the same amount of money I spent on this, I could have bought probably a nice used RV, but there was a few reasons. But the main one is that, that I didn't want to have to deal uh, <clears throat> with breakdowns and things going wrong. The more stuff you have the more things that can break so I thought simple might be better for me but who knows if simple is going to be too difficult I mean there's a lot of women out there that are camping out of their cars so I'm figuring this is kind of a step up from that um, I think the main issue is going to be you know getting out being out in the elements of wind and rain and and not having that's why I got the clam shelter but if it's windy I can't put it up so um, that means having to maybe sit inside all day um, in the car or in the tree or drop and wait out the, the weather. But of course, my plan is to try and um, travel, you know, with good weather, but there's no guarantees that you will always get good weather. So these are one of, this is one of the concern, concerns I have or things I want to check out to see if I can really do it because with the teardrop, obviously, I don't have any shelter. There's an, an awning with it, but it's not really covered shelter. So that's why I got the clam shell. And um, hopefully that thing is pretty strong in the wind. I don't know. I have no idea. But um, in any case, that was my thinking was to go with something newer, something simpler, something that gets great gas mileage. I mean, on my way home from Canada, bringing this down, I didn't notice much of a difference in my gas mileage. It was fabulous. And so I was like, wow, you know, this is going to be um, a great money saver to have uh, such great gas mileage, which I think I'm getting around 28 miles per gallon. Um, so anyways, when I go to exchange the new RV, I'll definitely take that out. Uh, the plan right now is to take it out on um, as long of a trip as I can manage. I'm still working, so I have to take time off from work. Um, so probably just two weeks and just try it out and hopefully I can do that in May and then um, take it out as much as I can on the weekends and then make a decision if I want to give up my apartment and get out on the road full time. Hopefully I can make that decision sometime by the end of summer um, and uh, you know start preparing my getting rid of everything as much as, much as I can and selling things off and, and uh, moving out of the apartments. So, uh, hopefully I'll have a clear decision by the end of summer if I think this is something I can do full time. So that's where it's at right now. And um, I can't wait to keep sharing my journey with you as to um, trying to realize this dream of getting out on the road for uh, an extended amount of time. And um, I don't know about full time. Uh, we'll have to see. Maybe part time. I don't know. But um, 
you know, I have some work constraints and it's not so easy to work from the road. Um, so I don't know if that's going to be possible. We'll just have to see how it plays out. But uh, I'll keep sharing things with you and uh, thank you for checking out my video and my journey and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.